morning guys. Welcome to the best girl in the whole world. Last night I... Can I roll down the hill with this? No, you can't. I will get dirty. Um, last yeah. night I told Sophie, don't forget, I need a bale of hay no, for the goats. Didn't. Yes, I did. No. Oh. Well. Looking at the hay and I was like, well, we're gonna need that. <laughs> She's a farm girl! Oh, put the hay! Oh, okay, hurry. <laughs> <sighs> Welcome to today. Today is the first day of spring. <laughs> it's about to be spring again here. We're actually gonna have nice weather for the first time in like a lot the last week or so ever since our baby was born we got cold you guys my family is supporting me i don't always feel supported from my family but today sam told sophie to take the greenest bale which is so kind you're fat you push the door open by yourself oh he's up he's up i washed the blankets that we used to dry off little winston oh look at my boy and then i got a couple more he came to me too because i think we're gonna have more babies coming soon Hi, oh, winston there's a girl on our channel keeps saying that he looks so uncomfortable this little guy is so comfortable being held and so happy i'm his he I'm kisses his too he loves kiss them kiss them <laughs> He's like, oh, kiss you. <laughs> Let me get the chores done here. And then we're headed out to do some shopping, some goat shopping. And I also did an order on Amazon of things. And if I get time, I will make a video of it for you guys. Oh, All right, hi. what's happening in here? Come sit with us. Yeah. I'm so happy to have friends. <laughs> So, like I said, there's this one girl on our channel. She this just keeps saying that he's so uncomfortable. Keeps saying that he's so uncomfortable, yet this is what he's like. He loves, Sophie loves being, he asks us to pick him up, even. He jumped all four feet on the ball and then fell. Really? He jumped all four feet on the ball? He's loving the ball. He thinks Sophie is a play toy. He's definitely not uncomfortable in any way. He's really good with people. He wouldn't be walking up to us if he didn't Yeah, like let's feel your little tummy. I mean, he didn't get toys not to like us, because as soon as I met him, <laughs> I picked him up. I know, and people are upset about that. But he needed care. He needed warming. Right? And he needed stuff on his umbilical cord. And he needed to move to a, to a kidding stall. <laughs> He's like, why are you on my box? This is my box. Ellie wants to come in here. That's Molly. I, no, it's Ellie. I haven't been bringing She's Ellie. She's gonna climb the door. She'll climb this door. I haven't been bringing Ellie down since Winston has been born because she doesn't understand not going around the mom, and the mom would definitely be upset if a dog was going around she gets mad her, if baby. her brother goes around her baby. Yeah, she trusts everybody but the her brother and also the new baby that we added to the herd. Um we have shopping to do. We can't just be down here all day. Okay, well he needs his playtime. Yeah, we'll let him out and let him have some playtime. He likes to get out of, they like to get out of this stall. Come on, buddy. <laughs> just so you guys know, just so you guys can see, he definitely does not look uncomfortable. He's seeking her out and he's like interacting with her. His mom's not that happy about it. Yeah, she is a helicopter parent, but that is exactly what she should be. I'm he's digging his face into my so mind. much happier with her like this. Wow, your water has got ice. I'm gonna go get her some fresh water. She's like, yeah, it has ice. Come on, <laughs> she needs lots of fresh water for nursing. If he trips though, he just falls. He doesn't even try and save himself. He's like, I want water too. <laughs> so this is what we wanted. We wanted him to feel comfortable with people, be able to climb up on them. And someone See pointed out today, Someone pointed out today that just because you handle your baby doesn't mean that it's going to be friendly. And that is so true. It literally has to do with personality first. But not handling your baby will definitely ensure a goat that's not comfortable with humans. And we don't want that. And that's another thing about having goats is that sometimes you end up making hard choices. And selling goats that don't have the disposition that you want to breed in your in your herd. Having a herd of friendly goats is super important to me. And we are likely going to breed for disposition as well as a million other things. But I definitely want to keep the friendly 
goat with good temperament. All right, let's go, sister. No. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of chores and then we're gonna head out. He still wants to cuddle. Yeah, I think he really would benefit from a sibling. I am a sibling. I know, but he really would. He sleeps by himself. Like last night he slept on top of that thing. You're During hard. the day he sleeps in there. Yeah, he does. Sophie's job is to socialize the babies. the dogs outside don't look at her hair she's getting a haircut today come on but every time what? we let the dog somebody lets the dogs out and i'm talking like gabby oh. or sam you get a duck egg every day yeah ducks lay every day and she just started lying too okay so every time the dogs come out they leave whoever brings them out and they come with sophie and i like we get stuck with the dogs every time which i don't mind except that <laughs> They could go with the horses sometimes. All right, it's time to go do all of our bi-weekly animal food shopping. We'll be back. It is gorgeous out here, you guys, gorgeous. All right, so we are at TSC and we are in the chicken department. I need a few things for our chickens. And you used to only be able to get these online and now you can get them here. It is a poultry nesting sheet. Those are really good. I'm gonna get those when I redo my chicken coop this summer. Oh my gosh, they have a chicken treat roller. You put treats in here and then they roll it to get it out. All right, so Gabby's, Sophie's gonna be getting a registered goat baby that she's going to learn to show. And she found like the show collars. Is that what it is? Halter. No, you halter, but don't you just use this around their neck? I don't know, but this is for sheep. That is so cute. He would love that. Definitely. They don't have the really nice heat lamps. You can get online really nice ones that are almost fireproof. There is nothing more satisfying than cleaning a chicken water buckets. Sophie's going to get the, the I don't know which is The which. chickens on the bottom. Okay. That was dumb, I know. All right, everyone is re-watered and re-fed. Look at Penguin. Someone was concerned about how many chickens we have in the coop and said they look squished. They're not. I'm assuming they mean this one over here. Oh, and it's because they're scared, so they squish themselves in the corner, but they have the whole space to move around and they all have a spot on the perch, which is the big thing, that they have room to perch. Just like these guys, they all squish together in the corner when they're scared, but they have all this room to perch. And they all fit on the perch. favorite out of this pack. Yeah. Well, second I mean. favorite. Come here. We thought these were all boys, but no, they're like all girls. I love this one because she has brown. Like around her eyes, it's just brown. We have different tasting chickens. I don't like black and brown chickens. Jim. But I like you. I still I like you. Yeah. These guys are the chillest batch of chickens we will yeah, ever have. Yeah, they're the nicest batch of chickens that we will ever have. But I think maybe I just didn't show you guys the space that they have. And when we close this thing, they actually move around and they're they're okay. But soon, they're moving over to that coop that is double the size. Or maybe, yeah, double this size. Black eyes too. And then it also has a like, look at second story for them to go okay, up this, and sleep in. This one stands really weird. So they're only in here. This is just the transitional stage. They go to that once it gets warm and this week it's supposed to be really warm. So we'll be moving them over there. And then these guys will have the whole run of this thing until we get our baby duck. 
Our baby ducks and geese are staying inside for the first little while like we always do. Yeah. These chickens over here are able to go in and out as well during the day and it only seems a little bit more congested at night when they all come in. They all fit on the perch perfect. I know. They all perch perfectly. Oh, that's the rooster we keeping. Got a battery. Got a battery for my baby scale, which is what we're gonna use to weigh our baby. <laughs> that's what they're for. Sophie's baby. That reminds me so much of like a mama and her baby. What the heck is that? The pigeons sound scary. Hi baby. Hi baby. Oh, we I love you. All right, I'm just going to clean this. I have a cloth down at the other barn. They're like, what is it? Can we have some? We are fair weather riders, you guys. In Canada, where we live, it's cold and we do not love riding in the weather, in this bad weather. Gabby and Sophie will both have a lesson this week. <laughs> I don't think it hurts a horse to sit for a couple of months and have rests, especially like storm or Sam puts hay in here every single day, piles of it, so that everybody can come in here and eat. And so I'm glad to see that the baby and, and Gracie are taking advantage of that. My scale is not working. I bought this thing and it was working and I was excited because scales are really good to have. And it's not working. That makes me, oh, it's working. <laughs> I just had to push it. All right, we're in business guys, it's working. Well, hello, Missy. Did you hear me? <laughs> She's looking so cute. Look at her mouth. So did you guys notice her eyes are so much better this year? For anybody who's just turning in and you don't know what I'm talking about, just tuning in and you don't know what I'm talking about, her eyelids, she's missing pieces of her eyelids. <sighs> the vet thinks probably she like rubbed them off. I don't know. But <laughs> she looks, she looks big. Her face looks wider than it was. Before. So when the wind comes and it blows on her, she can't close her eyes against the wind, not completely. And that's what the vet thinks that she gets like gooey eyes in the winter. Like they run just a little tiny bit. We've tried antibiotic cream. We've tried. Oh, she's pretty cute there. Oh, that is adorable. We tried antibiotic, antibiotic cream. We tried washing all the time. We tried a lot of different things. And she came to us like that. She had that when I bought her. It was one of the first things I noticed about her were her weird eyes. But she's doing a lot better in it this year. Like, I don't know if it's because it's hardly even uh, windy out. Like, it's not as cold. Hi, sweet girl. I know, it's a, it's a baby scale. You can't fit this. You can't fit it. Hi. Hi. Every time I see a horse drink, I always run for my life. The storm Her works. mouth looks different. Boop. <laughs> she wants to push everything. <laughs> She is pushing it. Oh yeah, they're like, portrait mode is so nice. <laughs> Tomorrow they're gonna all get their blankets off in the morning. Can you tell, oh you that one is cute. You can tell her blue cute. eyes in that. Yeah, she has blue eyes. All right, let's do it. See you first. It is time for them to go outside, have their outside I time. The, I, see, I see the shadow. Yeah, watch what happens. Winston! Watch and see if he comes running out. Oh, he, he hears her. He's stretching. Oh, he's stretching? Come on, buddy. Usually, as soon as he hears Sophie's voice, he comes running. Come on, there he is. Let him have a drink first, and then we'll take them outside. Yeah, all right, let's see. Yeah, let's see how much he weighs. He's so cute. Put him on. He's so cute. He's a naked boy today. He's gonna get to run without any stuff He's on. Just cuddling I think me. the person thinks he looks uncomfortable because his legs are pushed out, but that's just how he is. Seven, About three pounds, eight ounces. Oh. Is that normal? Three pounds, know. seven ounces? You tell me. For he a four day old? Spot. So he was probably like two pounds when he was born. He's gonna jump off here, you know. Look at how cute. He kind of looks buckskin to me. All right, let's see. He's so excited. He's wagging his tail. He's getting ready to jump. Okay, Mama goes over and smells the scale. She's like, oh, I don't really care. I just want to see what you're... 
<laughs> he is so be cute. Screaming if you he like has me. weird eyes that make him look like he's freaked out, but he's so not freaked out. My favorite looking is Rosie. I love her color. So we figured out he has a white spot. Okay, turn around. I don't think you guys can see it. Just go over this way a bit. So on this side, he's got a, a white spot. Like he's got a nice little side belly going, but he doesn't look he doesn't look chubby. He's he's grow he grows tall. Do you remember when he was born and he couldn't jump that good? I know. And now he's just like <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Play. He's so happy to have that sweater off. His horns are getting big. So he's almost four pounds. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> she just bounced back. Oh. Up. Hey. You're okay, Lola. You gotta fight back eventually. I feel her pain. She's like, oh, I can't even rest for a minute because he's just a, a devil. <laughs> he's just so full of himself. <laughs> he's just running into their horns at this point. I can't get a photo of him because I can't find him. Nope. This is what it's like to be the outcast. That's why, that's why it sucks when you have just like one goat, you should always get two. <laughs> She's like, help, I fell and I can't get up. <laughs> no, she's just trying to get warm. What are you chewing on? You chewing but yeah, like that's why you always need two goats because it's just hard for them to fit in. Tomorrow is horse day, you guys. But I'm seeing something suspicious. I just wait saw. Me. Wait, Sophie. I just saw something in our horse field. Huh? I saw something suspicious <laughs> in our horse field, and that's it, right there. They're not. How did they get in there? <laughs> Look at Miss Sassy. She's like, you're here. <laughs> She's. How did the gate get open? I don't know. It's a ghost. The ghost is like, you can go through there. Uh, the ghost let her horses out. Wait, let's let's go see them. I gotta lock in the in the chickens. So tomorrow is horse day. I know some people are missing the horses. We just had to like it's only been four days since Winston's been born and it's just taken us a few days to like get him going and making sure everything's okay. <laughs> oh my god. They love you. Why wouldn't they? They do, they love her. Every night when I let the chickens in, I'm always worried that I forgot one outside. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. So I always have to double check and make sure that there's none outside. <laughs> they don't care about you anymore. <laughs> Just joking. 
Look at that baby run to her mama. This is how they get their exercise. They are looking so cute. It's really cold out now. Come on, let's go down. I hate days like this when it goes from so nice out to freezing cold. I swear it's hard on the horses. <laughs> They're all waiting to go in. They're like, where are they? <laughs> Penny, yeah. Sam's like, Laura, it's five o'clock. You better go down and put your goats in. And meanwhile, the horses are still out. I've been loving this life. Like, I this winter has been unbelievable for me. Oh, shoot. Sophie, we gotta go up and get the grain. Whatever. Sophie, you gotta go up and get the grain. Oh, just, no. I just need the bag of alfalfa. Call dad. All right, tell Gabby to bring it. <laughs> but grain day is literally the worst day on earth. Gabby was so kind to bring these to me. My back is sore. Grain day is hard. Yeah, I know, he explores now. His new thing is chewing everything he can get his mouth on. <laughs> Are you, you can, chewing everything you can get your little mouth on? Alright, let's not scare mama. No, you have your baby back. So the reason that goats are so difficult is because there are so many rules. So basically, when your doe is pregnant and she's close to being due, like two weeks before she's due, you're meant to not give her any what? high calcium foods because if you do, it can stop her body from making Sorry. calcium because she's just, uh, she's absorbing so much from her diet that it can cause so milk fever after birth so you can't give your dough anything like alfalfa cubes or alfalfa hay two okay. weeks before birth he's chewing my coat but it's like a hundred of those little tiny tidbits a hundred of them that you don't even know hi <laughs> Going. I know you're creating a monster. I know <laughs> that some people believe that you can tell a by a doe you can tell by a doe's udder if she's going to have multiples. And people even believe that you can tell if she's going to have a boy by the size of her udder. It would be funny to explain to Dad that he gave me a hickey. <laughs> <laughs> he was nibbling on her neck. Yeah, he was. Honestly, I can't even stop. Like, he is after Sophie all the time, wanting to be picked up. Blossom. I feel like he drinks now when we leave him. Because then once we come down, he's like, it's playtime. Yeah, he loves to play. Oh, and like I was saying, so you can't feed a pregnant doe alfalfa the two weeks leading up to birth because you have a higher chance of having something like milk fever. But once a doe has freshened and she has her baby... Stop! When she has her He's baby, himself. then she needs alfalfa. Like, it, there's just so many rules. So, the last thing I wanted to say before we end today's video is that last week the girls didn't have riding because uh, of the weather, and then there was a storm. It was fine until it was time And to then leave. this week we do have riding, so there will be lessons. There is more horse content coming. For now, you get baby goat content. From now, but for now, you're getting baby goat content. Do you guys remember when I started with we have when we started with horses? It was just all horses. Now then we started with chickens, and then it was all chickens. And now we're starting with baby goats. There's gonna come time where it's just gonna be all baby emus. Don't you know?